involving what investigators are calling counterfeit Percocet. Investigators say they are seeing more and more fake prescription pills. The numbers continue to grow. New at 6, investigators tell us where the counterfeit Percocet has turned up in the metro area. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jovita Moore. I'm Justin Farmer. Right now, the GBI is looking for a potential link between fake Percocet turned into the crime lab at the drugs involved actually in the mass overdose in middle Georgia. Today, we got a look at some of these fake pills. Lethal. Four people have overdosed and died. 30 are in the hospital. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie inside the GBI lab in DeKalb. And Mark, you learned about at least six earlier fake Percocet seizures in our area. Uh, that's right, 2015 and 2016, and just May 25th of this year, we were here in the GBI Crime Lab Chemistry section where experts basically warned about the counterfeit drug danger facing Georgians. They probably saved lives, but imagine their feelings when they learned at least four people died anyway within days of their warning. You actually sent a warning out about counterfeit drugs just a couple weeks ago. It's not even been two weeks. Yes, we sent a warning about this. Two who tried, just May 25th, oh, okay. says one of them. It is tragic. We were hoping to let the public know that this could present a serious danger. Tried to warn folks of the deadly danger of counterfeit drugs days before suspected counterfeit Percocet cut a deadly swath through middle Georgia. To be part of that May 25th warning and now have this happen leaves you feeling how? This is really the worst case scenario. This was the very thing that we hoped would not happen. GBI Crime Lab drug chemistry expert Deneen Kilcrease says in late May, Crime Lab scientist Stephanie Menendez discovered a pill marked as oxycodone, but containing a potentially deadly mix of stronger ingredients than real oxy. She says that led to a quick database search that found 454 cases, some going back to 2015, involving counterfeit pills. Many also with ingredients far more potent than the real thing, and thus potentially deadly. Ms. Kilcree says six of the 454 cases were counterfeit Percocet cases from Metro Atlanta and Troop County. Troop County Sheriff Sergeant Nathan Taylor says in 2015 on I-85, he stopped a suspect from Metro Atlanta who had, along with other drugs, roughly 1,300 yellow counterfeit Percocet pills made in an illegal clandestine lab, possibly in Georgia. Pills that contained the often deadly drug fentanyl, many times more potent than Percocet. Ms. Kilcree says there's no reason to believe so far, those six cases are related to the counterfeit Percocet suspected in a rash of middle Georgia overdoses this week. Some fatal, except it all signifies the deadly danger of pills purchased off the street. Now, Deneen Kilcree says oxycodone and Xanax appear to be the most counterfeit street drugs in Georgia, and that the deadly ingredients in the fakes are often cheaper and easier to get than the correct ones. Now, she says that 454 number has grown and in fact it grows basically daily monday through friday lives at stake mark winnie channel 2 action news live in the crime lab